Hello, everybody. How are y'all doing? I'll give everybody a chance to get on. This is Mary at Yard Art R Us. It's Friday, August 28th, seven o'clock. How are you guys doing? Got a paint tonight? A ghost, I kind of got a little bit of him done. I went ahead and did the Happy Halloween letters because there's really not a lot to that and it does take a little while. So we're gonna work on this tonight and we're gonna work on this. Toot toot. Hi Carla, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. Hey Con Con, Connie's been helping me most all day off and on with some digital stuff. So it's time to have some fun though, it's time to paint. Let's do something that I'm actually pretty good at. That's, that's a good idea. All right, so we're gonna do Happy Halloween. Now what I did on this guy, I don't know if you can tell by looking, but um, I actually base coated this whole thing in light orange, which I think is number 16, if I remember right. Let me get my little pad out here. Yeah, light orange, number 16. I did two uh, good coats on here of the light orange, and then I just put a coat of white, one heavy coat of white with a mop brush. That's all I needed to do to get the white. So I base coated two coats of the light orange, and then I base coated the white with the mop brush. And then for the lettering, let me see if I can find it. I'm gonna show you what I used. I just used one of my worn out script liners. And I mean, I put a lot of paint on there. And I just sat here and did this. I went ahead and did this before I can get on, um, before I got on tonight because I have to put so much black paint on here. If I don't, it takes like two or three hours for this to dry. If this is uh, wet the whole time I'm trying to do a video, then we got nothing but a mess. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with both of these on my shading orange. Now I just have my number 16 um, shader. I'm just gonna kind of dip it in there like we always do. And I'm gonna just start on the perimeter of this sign or the edge of the sign, if, if you will. And I'm gonna just kind of go like, just to get me enough. Now, because I've got enough space in here, I think I'll turn this. I'm usually doing it this way, right? Going back and forth. I'm gonna turn it this way. Watch, I'm just gonna get a little bit of a line there. Just kind of giving it a little bit, uh, taking up some of that, that uh, space down here that light colored orange. And I just take this shader and I just, all I do is simply go around the perimeter of the sign. Just like that. Nothing too special. And like I said, I'll probably come and do some, just some little orange brush strokes, small brush strokes there. And then I'll come up. And that's all I'm gonna do for my orange. Just some shading, if you will. Okay, now I'm gonna come over here and on this guy, we sell a lot of candy corns every year. Now typically most, not all, but a lot of people buy our candy corns and then I put names on it. So I thought tonight I'll show you how I put a name on this. So on the orange part, all I really do is I just kind of come in here and I just do a little bit of a, just a few little swipes. And then I will take my, uh, orange brush and I'll do it like that. So you just kind of see I have a little bit of shading around there. Now, also I did not do this and I should have, so let's go back and I'll show you. I'm gonna do some yellow down here because I usually make this white part yellow. Hi Kim, how are you? Hope you're having a good Friday. Uh, we got about 30 minutes, maybe 30 minutes worth of rain. I was fixing to get all excited and then it just stopped raining. So, but I'm not gonna complain because, you know, not that you wish the hurricane on anybody, you don't, but we dodged it. We, we don't have anything to complain about because it could have been so much worse for us. So I'm not gonna complain that we didn't get any rain. I wish we would have, but hey, that's just the way it goes. That's the way it goes sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry. I'll come back in a little while and do a little bit of uh, shading on the yellow, the light yellow. I'll put a little bit of shading yellow on there. All right, so we're gonna go back to <clears throat> the brush that I had, the um, flat tip brush or the shading brush that I had. 
for the orange. Now, you know I painted this whole thing in that light orange, and then I base coated the white on top of it. And then I just did this shade, <clears throat> excuse me, shading orange right around here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a little bit of, for whatever reason, this is just a combination that I like. Uh, so I'm going to use the shading. Hold on, y'all. I want to make, make sure I'm telling y'all. Actually, I call it shading blue. It's really called beard blue. Sometimes I think we should have named these the names that I called them. So I don't have to learn new names. But I'm going to kind of take my brush and just lay it down and get it to fan out a little bit. Kind of fan it out. This is beard blue. This is what I always use on Santa's beard and what I always use on my ghost. It's just a color combination that I like. You don't, if you don't care for it, you certainly don't have to use it. There's no right or wrong. So I'm gonna kinda come up here and I'm gonna kinda go here. Now, as far as a ghost goes, there's no hard and fast rule, but something I do like to do is I kinda just like to come up here and just give him a little bit of an eyebrow on either side and maybe a little bit of a chin. Again. It's a ghost, you know, so it's not all that. And uh, I'll come over here on this side, and I'll go up here. You're gonna see how easy it is to make a ghost, super easy. I'll do something like that. And I might even kind of come around here, something like that, and then I'll come over here. And I probably will do that. Now, the thing about your ghost to me is, you know, I just, I've done this a hundred different ways, but this is kind of my, what I've done the last, I don't know, maybe 10 years. This is kind of the way I like to do it. And it's just personal preference. If you don't want to do these colors that way, then you certainly don't have to. Okay, so what I do on the eyes is I'm gonna put a little bit of brush, a little bit of paint on here, not a whole lot. I'm gonna get enough that I can get down in the groove lines there. And I'm just gonna follow that. Okay, I'm just following that CNC line. And then I'll come in here and just color that. You can probably tell I have quite a bit of paint on there. And uh, hey, Miss Victoria, how are you? I saw you got some good news about your sweetie. That's awesome. That is so good. Hey, we need, we'll take any good news that we can get. That is awesome. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And I'm just basically following the CNC lines. I like to do eyelashes. That's just something I like to do. Don't, my husband sometimes gets after me and says, don't you think you're kind of overdoing the eyelashes on the ghost? No, I don't. I like eyelashes, so I do eyelashes. Hey, but if you don't like them, no worries. And then of course, I'm gonna just follow the CNC lines for the mouth. <laughs> Just enough paint to get in there. And I always kind of just do a really, really little bitty nose. And again, things like the nose, especially the eyelashes, I'm sorry, the eyebrows and the chin, while they're not in any way atomically correct, there's just, they're just kind of little brush strokes that kind of make your, give the feeling of human characteristics to your ghost. So that's kind of why I do them and I, the eyelashes is the same thing. It just kind of gives your ghost a little bit of a human quality. Now, using that uh, script liner, I'm going to my, what do we call this, navy blue. Now, I told you earlier, this is just something that I've, I've kind of developed over the years that I like. I like the combination of beard blue and dark blue or navy blue. It's just something I, I like. So I do that a lot. You'll see anything that I paint, and a lot of times Ashley does the same thing too. If I shade in the beard blue, I'll outline in the navy blue. And I just think because it gives you a really good pop, this, this navy blue is almost dark enough sometimes you would think it's got a lot of black in it because it, it's your outlining color. So I just kind of go around the perimeter with my script liner and kind of come up. And then I'd start here and go up. And then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna follow this guy around. And if you want to, while you have just a little bit of paint, you can always come back in here and just kind of go up and down where that uh, beard blue is. You don't have to. 
I just think it gives it a little bit more personality if you do. But again, it's not like you have to. And just kind of come in here wherever that beard blue is and put just a little bit of your uh, navy blue. So I'm gonna come up. You can tell that paint, my beard blue is still a little bit wet, but we'll, we'll keep working with it. I'm gonna come under here, give it a little bit more of a chin. Then I'm gonna come over here. So don't feel like you have to use this color combination if you're not feeling it. You can always use whatever, you could use black. I've seen people do ghost and gray a lot. I think that looks good too. So if you like the gray, you could always do your ghost and gray. And you can tell I'm kind of reaching and grab over. So because of that, I'm not gonna do this part right here quite yet. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna go to the middle part, which is the Happy Halloween sign. Because I know what's gonna happen, y'all. If I sit here and I get all this with that dark uh, navy blue, and then I start here, then I'm gonna make a mess right here, and I don't wanna do that. All righty, let's see. Nobody has any questions? Okay, we're doing all right. Hope y'all are awake. I'm awake, can y'all believe it? I didn't sleep good last night, so I slept kind of late this morning. So that was kind of nice. But the only thing is, is if you wake, like I'm, I'm an early riser. I usually get up anywhere from five to six. Sometimes I've been known to get up at four. It just depends on what I'm doing. So if I sleep till eight o'clock in the morning, I wake up, it's like, and then, you know, I look up at noon is here. It's like, where did the day go? So uh, that's the only thing about sleeping in. You just kind of lose a lot of your day. So this is the uh, number 19 red orange. And uh, this goes back to the color combinations that I like. So I'll do a light orange on my base coat. I'll do the shading orange, which is the number 17. And then I'll do the number 19 red orange, as in my outline color. Doesn't mean that's what you have to do, but that's just what I like. So I'll just kind of take this and just kind of go back and forth a little bit till I get that definition right there where I want it. That CNC line is kind of covered. And then I got a little bit of blue on there, so I'm just gonna wipe that off. And then I'll take this red orange with just very light, light brush strokes and kind of do it in there. And then I probably come down here a little bit, try to stay off that uh, dark blue. I don't wanna cover that up. I'm gonna try to stay off of that. And then I would come over here and do that. And again, just a few strokes there. But you can see now with the uh, several different colors of orange, my sign is starting to really look good. I like that. I want that colorful, bright look. And I just keep dipping in my paint. And I'm just kind of dragging back and forth like this just to fill in that CNC line. And again, I'll take this very light-handed, very light stroke, and wherever I have that shading orange, I come in here with a little bit of this red orange. Just gives it a lot of a lot of pop and a lot of color, which is kind of what I like. That's just that's just kind of my thing. Now while I have this out, let's swap this over. What I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll do that. I'll just kind of come down here. I need a little bit more over here and I'll come in here and just very lightly run my brush. I'm not trying to get an even stroke, I'm just kind of lightly, lightly, lightly going over it. All right, let's go back over here and finish this guy up. This guy's super easy, and I think he's cute. My hand don't know how to do light touches <laughs> exactly, <laughs> I know. Well, I get that. Uh, I tend to have a, a heavy hand. Ashley tends to have a, ha also have a heavy hand. My mother-in-law, uh, I think y'all heard me say before, she's passed away, but she used to paint a lot, and she had a very light hand. So she could do the same piece that I did with the same techniques that I did uh, and the same colors, and yet it looked very different because it's kind of like handwriting. It's gonna look different from person to person. No matter how much you try to mimic someone's handwriting, you're really not ever gonna get it uh, down pat. So I'm going back to my navy blue, and I'm coming up here. And I'm just kind of going around here. 
And again, I will hit some of this navy blue with this script liner just where that um, beard blue shading is. And I'll kind of come back around here and I'm gonna just kind of come do like that. And then the only thing this guy's got to have is some white. We're gonna put some, he don't need a lot because obviously you know, we already have a lot of white. But I'm um, gonna put a little bit of highlight on him and he's done. Now, I've got some white here. I don't know that this is gonna work, but I, just for purposes of the video, this is the only reason I'm gonna do it right now. I typically will put a white dot right here in the eye. Hoping you guys can see that. It's very wet right now, so I don't think it's gonna pan out too good. That's not too bad. But that, that'll give you the idea. Tomorrow, I'll actually make those little white dots larger, but I don't wanna do that right now. And I'm just gonna kinda come in here and just give myself a little bit of um, white right in here. That's really all I'm gonna do. Now, here's the deal. If you want to, you can leave it totally done like that, right? You're done, pretty much you're good to go. I'm gonna show you just a little bit of how, pay attention to that letters, Happy Halloween, and how different they're gonna look in just a minute. And you don't have to do this last part, in fact, if you don't want to, it's just one less thing you gotta do. But I'm gonna wipe off some of this paint and I'm just gonna kinda get some brush strokes down here. You might not like that. If you don't, you can just go for the solid black. Or if you do like it, you could just kinda come in here and just, I'm very lightly giving some white to these black letters, very lightly. Not much, you know, I'm not going for anything um, real uniform. It's just kind of a, almost like a dry brush. I, you can tell I don't have much paint on here. And it's not gonna look perfect. So if this is not your thing, you can just totally leave off the white and not have to do this last part. Really up to you. And then we're gonna come down here there we go. Okay. Now, the white just kind of gives it a little bit more of a uh, painted, hand-painted kind of look. So, it's up to you. You don't necessarily have to do those black letters like that. Or you could even put more white. I've even seen some of them do a light gray on the black letters, and I like that too. So, it really is just kind of whatever your thing is. Okay. So you like the white in the letters? I kind of do too, Miss Victoria. I think it just gives it a little bit more of a hand painted, uh, you know, look where it doesn't look quite so, uh, what is the word I'm trying to say, proper. You know, it looks more painted and not, not quite as proper. So I'll back up. And there's our little ghost. Y'all can see it doesn't take long. Doesn't take long at all to finish him. And he's super cute. And he comes with one of those green channel stakes. So that's, I don't know if you paid attention, but I got holes over there in that. And that's because of the green channel stakes. Okay, so what I need to do on this little guy, I'm gonna show you. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, white on this guy, but I also need to do a little bit of shading and let me find my shading yellow. I have everything in the world but shading yellow out here. I'm not gonna put a lot of shading because there's not much room here to begin with. That's the deal about shading. If you have an area that's very small, it's easy to overdo the shading. Uh, if you have an area that's very big, you know, you can just get the shading and it's gonna look real good. But because I have a small area, I gotta kinda be cool with it and not get all crazy with the big, big um, shading stroke. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of it on here get the right amount of paint on here. So, I'm just gonna kind of work that in. And then I'd probably do something like that. Not a lot. And really, that's all the shading yellow I'm gonna put on that guy. Now, I am gonna go ahead and put a name, just so you guys can see. Uh, if you wanna start doing names or whatever, what I would do, I typically do not all the time, but I say most of the time. I typically do names in a script liner. Now here's the deal about lettering. And we thought about this maybe next year when I get a little more time. 
we could devote some time to lettering because lettering is a total art form in and of itself, separate from painting. I, I honestly have never really mastered lettering other than just kind of my own, I don't know, kind of handwriting looking lettering, I guess. Now there's lots of folks out there that do calligraphy or they do real fancy kind of lettering and that's big right now. Uh, we just haven't had the time in the Painters Club to really devote to that. So, uh, it could be, and I would be asking you guys what y'all think about that. We could get some ladies to come in and do some tutorials on hand lettering, but here's the deal. I felt like doing that this year was a little bit too much because if I'm throwing hand lettering at you and shading and outlining and base coating and all that other kind of stuff, it, it's just enough to kind of make your brain go woohoo. And honestly, if we bring somebody in on shading, I would have to practice quite a bit to get, uh, I'm sorry, bring somebody in on lettering, not shading. I would have to practice quite a bit to get the lettering style down too. And you know, I feel confident with the brush in my hand, so, uh, but I don't feel confident about lettering until I would have to just sit down. It's kind of like playing a band instrument or learning the sport or learning to paint. So maybe next year we can spend some time getting a couple of different folks to come in uh, and help us on lettering, maybe, like Kim's saying, maybe after the holidays. But y'all let me know if y'all think that that is um, a good idea, if y'all have any interest in that. I kind of would like to learn it, but uh, you know, it, the, the Painters Club isn't really what I like to do per se. I wanna try to do what y'all like to do. Um, now, Miss Victoria, she's listening in. She may even be pretty good at hand lettering. I've never really talked to her about it, but it is just something, it's another um, layer of art and it is an art of itself separate from painting. But I will say this, if you, if you want to sell your stuff or, or if you want to personalize it, the, the next thing is the lettering. Um, now I've done lettering and put names on stuff for ages, so I don't really have any, I didn't get a technique down. I didn't go and get a technique out of a book or follow a lettering person. I just kind of did what I did, so. Uh, it's more just like my hand handwriting. So what I would think of is I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a, a name on here, you know, that kind of thing. When I'm thinking about lettering, now something you could do, this is something that somebody suggested. I didn't come up with this idea, but I liked it. So I'll, I'm not gonna take credit for it, but I, I don't know, somebody told me this a long time ago. You could, like if you don't know how to do the spacing on here, you could just kind of do the wet letter right here. Y'all can't see it, the camera can't see it, but you know, if you do it right here and you screw up or you don't like it, the water's gonna dissipate. So you could always do that, you know, with water and just kind of see, okay, yeah, like I'm gonna do the name Todd and I'm just kind of looking at my lettering here. Okay, I think I'm good. Now, for purposes of the video, I don't have time to let this dry. So I'm just gonna kind of come in here and dot and blot that water back up. Kind of, I honestly, the hardest part I have with lettering, and Bruce is always after me about it because he's he has to sand it off if, if I don't get it right. And he has, um, a lot of people may not realize this, but Bruce probably has, I would say as much, or maybe in some cases even more than I do in terms of artistic ability. So he has so many irons in the fire. It, he's not a painter, but he can draw real well. Uh, yes, help on lettering after the holidays, good. Um, he can draw real well, better than I can. And so he's always been the one who made a lot of our patterns. Hey, Ashley, how are you? Ashley, you're, you made it just in time. We're talking about lettering. And I was asking the folks if we could round up some ladies to come in after the first of the year. Okay, you use a soft pencil, yeah after the first of the year to have some folks come in and, and Miss Victoria might be able to help us too. Just to spend maybe the month of January on lettering or something like that. Cause I think that's something that we could, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, Ashley. And Ashley, you need that. So you could spend the month of January actually learning lettering and developing your own style. So that way next fall you could let, you could do all that stuff that I usually do. That's a great idea. I love that idea. All right, let's go with that. So I'm just gonna do uh, something easy. I'm not gonna do Bartholomew tonight. I'm gonna do Todd, okay? And I just think about the alphabet. I just basically make a T, you know? 
So it would be kind of cool with me, I think, if we could find somebody to help us with lettering. Because I, like I said, I don't really have a style. I just have what I call the teacher handwriting kind of look, uh, lettering, you know. And I just kind of sit here and do this. Now, if you wanted to, that's what I would call the base, right? So this one, this stroke looks a little uh, wider. So you can come back on this stroke and just lay that brush down a little bit more to match that one. That's all it is, you know. Just kind of get it to where you want it and go back in and fill in those lines. But that's really all I would do. So I call my lettering uh, elementary teacher handwriting lettering. It's not real uh, curvy, wavy. It really, it's kind of like a, a very simple style. I'll put it to you that way. Hey Debbie, how are you doing? Uh, way to put all the work on me. Exactly, exactly. So uh, maybe we'll do that in January. Spend a little bit. I'll see if I can find some ladies to come in. If y'all know anybody, uh, we'll see if we can get Miss Victoria to help us too. If you guys know anybody that does lettering, you, you know, that you think that would uh, be willing to come and share with us, that would be great. So we did our candy corn. Hey y'all, it's only been like 25 or 30 minutes. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, we did our candy corn and we did Happy Halloween, our ghost. So I'm glad you guys could show up with you. It's a, a show up to uh, meet with me tonight. It's Friday night. Let's go kind of chill out after this. To, uh, Miss Victoria will be here. Y'all hold on a minute. I thought I had all of this right here. I got it right here. Okay, Miss Victoria is gonna be with us on Sunday at seven o'clock doing, uh, I put a spell. So she's gonna do that. Um, and then I will be back doing small and medium pumpkins and a sunflower pumpkin on Monday. So hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, y'all let me know your thoughts. If you know anybody who would come share their lettering expertise, that would be great. Uh, Kim, I thought about using a stencil and pencil in lettering. I, the thing about stenciling, Kim, is I've done stenciling for probably 30 years. I deliberately haven't covered that yet uh, because there's a few hurdles that we'd have to jump over, but stenciling is something that we could talk about. Uh, that's something I feel confident in doing. You just have to get the stencil. And so um, probably up until last year, I stenciled, I still stenciled some last year, but man, in years past, I've done a lot of, I have a lot of stencils. We'll, talk, we'll, we'll devote January or February to hand lettering and stenciling. I think that would be the thing to do. So hope you guys have a good weekend and thank you for joining us. And y'all remember to tune in. Miss Victoria will be here Sunday night at seven and I'll be back Monday night. See you guys later. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.